So for today, I want to ask you, how do you keep going when you just don't feel like it? You're frustrated, you're tired, you don't feel well, you don't have one last nerve left. How do you keep going? Join us, that's what we're talking about today. Hey everyone, welcome to Pretty Big Faith with Natalie Michelle. I am so honored that you joined me here today for our second vlog. I'm so excited, still going and pumping on strong. So thank you so much for joining, subscribing, I hope, and definitely leaving comments. So for today, I wanted to talk about a topic that is near and dear to my heart, something that I myself struggle with from time to time. And that is, how do you keep going when you just don't feel like it? There are times where there are not enough motivational phrases and sayings and Bible verses and songs to keep you pumped and keep you actively walking towards that goal that you set, right? So if we're honest, there are gonna be those times where you just don't feel like it, whether you, it's sickness, you don't, you're not feeling well, or you got a text message or a phone call that just completely shifted the mood for your day, or you're in traffic and everything's just getting on your nerves and that compiles to something else, to someone's attitude, to the person at Starbucks having, you know, being really short with you and before you know it, you're, you're, everything's affected and that energy that you left home with or that you woke up with is gone. And you're all of a sudden just like, you know, let me just get me through today, tomorrow's another day, right? But how do we avoid that? How do we push through that? Especially when you need to be on. You have something to do. There's something you've committed to doing. And how do you show up and still give it 100%? And so one of the things that I like to do, number one, is I like to reacquaint myself with my purpose. What does that mean? Quite simply, I like to remind myself, why did I wake up in the first place? Why did I start out doing this in the first place? So for me, I blog, I vlog. I coach, I consult. So there are tons of interactions with people, whether socially, on social media, or in person with clients. And I always have to remind myself, who needs what I have to offer? Who needs what it is that I've set out to give today? And when I think beyond myself, nine times out of 10, it's the surest way to kind of reposition myself and recenter myself so that I'm kind of remembering, hey, this is not about you. This is bigger than you. Someone else needs this. So why are you caught up in this attitude or caught up in this emotion right now? Refocus, remind yourself why you're here. So that's number one, what I like to do. And then number two, I call this staying in your lane. What does that mean? Well, sometimes when you are super positive and sure of yourself and you know why you're here and what you're supposed to be doing, whether that's a career goal or a financial goal or a personal goal, like a weight loss goal, or I wanna eat healthy, whatever it is, you get distracted, right? And you start looking around and veering out of your lane a little bit and you start looking around and noticing other people. And these other people are doing better than you, at least from what you see. Right. Because we all I mean, social media, my friend likes to say it's it's just a curated experience. Right. We pick and choose what we show other people. So you're scrolling, you're swiping and everybody else's life looks better than yours. Right. So whatever that is, whether it's relationships or uh, fitness goals or financial, whatever it is, it just looks better. And they have those cute filters and you're just sitting there. And before you know it, you're what's the point? Why even show up for myself? And I like to call that, you get stuck in, uh, my pastor used to call it the paralysis of comparison or the paralysis of analysis. Meaning you get stuck, you're frozen because you, you can't move because you've become so consumed looking at other people and what it seems that they're doing better than you. And so before you know it, you're not moving, you're not making any progress towards your goal or your purpose because you're so consumed with what's going on around you. And not even taking into fact that what's going on around you could very well be a facade. It could be very well something totally fake, but you're consumed with that because that's what you're feeding yourself. So be very careful who you look at and what you look at, whether that's on TV, what you're listening to on the radio, whatever it is. Be very, very, very careful, um, especially 
uh, in the days that we have right now. I don't know if any of you love Black Mirror on Netflix. I love that show. But, you know, with our phones, we have complete access to everything. And so be very careful what you filter and what you allow in. And then number three, what I like to do when I'm just feeling like, oh, what's the point? And I, I just don't have the energy or the motivation anymore. I ask for help. That is super simple. Ask for help. Three words. But for whatever reason, it's one of the hardest things to do. Sometimes we, and I know, okay, I'll speak for myself. Sometimes I know that I can come off as everything's okay, right? I have my God, I have my faith. Life is, it, it could be going crazy, but it's going to be okay, right? And sometimes we put off this, this persona, and so people are slower to ask, hey, do you need anything? Hey, can I pray with you? Do, do you need advice? Do you need me to just sit with you? Do, is there anything that I can do to help you? They're not going to do that if you're always walking around as if, I got it. I don't need help. I got this. I got this. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Right? So sometimes you need to stop, humble yourself, and say, you know what? I don't have it. I can't do this right now. I'm frustrated. I'm overwhelmed. This is driving me nuts. Can you help me? And that also not just extends to asking an actual person, but then asking God. Ask him for help. Pray. Say, you know what? Look, I got it. I got all these scriptures and beautiful Bible verses and songs of praise and worship. But right now, I'm just not feeling it. And I need tangible help. I need an SOS. I need an immediate infiltration of your grace and your strength to get me through what I'm going through right now, to, to push me and propel me to, to realize the purpose that I set out to do. Right? So three things. What did we say? The first thing, reacquaint yourself with your purpose. Remind yourself, why are you doing what you do? Then number two, stay in your lane. Don't get so caught up looking around at everybody else that you freeze and stop making movement towards your own purpose. And then number three, ask for help. You do not have to do life alone. I can be someone that can help you. Someone else, your neighbor, your friend, your sister, whoever. But if you don't ask, they won't know and they won't be able to help. All right? And so for today's ticket out the door, for if you're just joining me for the first time, that's a little activity that I like to do where you show me something that you've learned or a question or a concern that you might still have based off of what we've talked about. And so if you could leave me a comment below using the hashtag, I won't stop. Hashtag, I won't stop. Tell me what's one thing that you commit to not stop. One thing that you commit to pushing through despite how you're feeling, even today, even right now. Right? So I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for joining me today. And as always, I want to do life with you so you do not have to do it alone. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye.